What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our next regionals format deck profile for BT14 and I thought I'd start off with um, War Greymon since I took it to the three Ultimate Cups to show you the differences between what I would have ran if I could have at Ultimate Cup and how much I really like this deck in the regionals format and it's still really really strong and I enjoy it immensely and I'll probably keep playing it for a while. So here is our take, our real take on War Greymon. Without further ado, let's get into it. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. And I've adjusted the camera here, so hopefully that'll make for a better viewing of the deck profile. Um, we'll see if that works. I've been trying to make this a little bit better here. So of course we have the we have the BT5 Coromon egg. Uh, it's just the best egg. Uh, if this Digimon, you know, has Omnion or Greymon, other than Dexter or Greymon, and its name, uh, trigger draw one. Um, the nice thing about this is, like, I like the the new one, um, but it's better if you're going to be attacking with rookies, and I still think in this deck you're not going to be attacking with rookies. So you still get the draw one because you're always going to be attacking with a Greymon name. So just those guys. Okay. And then we have our level threes. We run four of the BT14 Agumon. I do have more alts coming. Um, it's just a better version of the promo guy. You don't run any of the promo guy because you get that 2,000 DP plus. And then you have the start of main phase if you have a Thai, uh, uh, Tamer with Thai Kami in its name. And this Digimon may Digivolve into a Greymon without paying the cost. So it helps you get up without having to pay that two for your level four. So you can potentially just just go right up into your, your high line super fast. We play the four uh, BT12s because it is your searcher and top reveal top four at a gram on a tie. You need it. It's got plus 1,000 all turns, which comes up, can be super handy in certain instances. And of course, we play the four Agumon X antibody because it's a great search card. Digivolves for free. It's on play and when digivolving, so it's really good. Uh, and it gets you an X antibody, so that's always good too. Gets your great, gets your grandma name. So that's all our rookies. Just the twelve rookies, I find is usually pr good enough. Um, for our level fours, we play four of the ST one Greymon security attack plus one. This deck kills fast. You need it. I'm playing three of the Greymon X antibody. Um, for protection and one of the Greymon X antibody from BT11. I, I and a lot of people will play four and one. I think three and one's good enough. I think because you can't like it's not like you can go double X antibody, right? You, it's got a digital from a Greymon. So I think four is good enough because I would rather play other options that further my plays. And that's why I play two of the EX1 Greymon. And it's when attacking, you may play one tie. Uh, with play cost of three or less from your hand without paying the cost. So it plays free ties. I really like that. And I play one of the BT12 Greymon uh, to get you a free tie. He's only good at the start of the game. So if you don't see him at the start of the game and you have other ways of playing ties, he's not that great. The 1000 Inheritable is nice though. So that is kind of nice. Um, but I like that's my lineup. Uh, 11, 11 Greymons. And uh, that's usually a good number. I, I'd love to play 12, but you get tight spaced in the deck. So we play two of the Raid War or Metal Greymons from BT12. And then it also has the when, uh, when an attack target is switched, you may play one black or red tamer with a cost of four less. So you can play your um, memory tamer tie. You can play your other ties too. So it's still really good. Um, and then his inheritably gains piercing, which is really great. Um, just a fantastic card. I thought I was going to play four of this guy, but I'm not because honestly, you need, he's only good in certain situations. So if your opponent's not going to put anything out there on the board, you don't necessarily want to go into him because you want to be able to raid. You want to be able to play something for free. Whereas this guy right here gets you security pack plus one and he can just end games super, super fast. So I, and, and the top end, Greymon already has piercing. So I actually didn't think I was going to be playing this guy, but two of him I think is really, really good. Uh, then we're playing three of the Mal Greymon X antibody. Uh, the Stigimon gains security attack plus one. 
Uh, and then until the end of the turn, if this Digimon has Malgram or X Antibody and Stitch Evolution cards, this Digimon gets 3,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. So you can get super big. You can go up to 13,000 with the right Agumon plus the tie bo boost. You can be up 14. So you can clear things with your level 5, not having to worry about Digivolving into your Mega, which sometimes is really good. Um, <coughs> you also have um, one Alterius mode we play. Um, it's also treated as Malgramon. You can Digivolve 0 for Malgramon, and you can delete your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less if you have a Tamer in play. And he also has um, that protection that the, the um, X Antibody provides, so you potentially have dual levels of um, you know protection, so that's kind of nice. So that's it for our level 5s. Um, again... Depending on what your opponent's doing, it's nice having the option to go between the security attack plus aggro or the raid um, piercing option. Um, we play two of the War Greymon with reboot and plus 3000. It's got raid and unsuspend when attack target is switched. So this is generally the guy you want to have with your piercing guy um, because he gets you, you know, gets you that pierce. So you check cards. Um, and then we play two of the new BT-14 guy. He's the guy that can warp Digivolve from an Agumon. If your opponent has a uh, Digimon with over 10,000 DP, he gains uh, if you, he gains Raid and Pseudo Blitz, which just that means he can attack as when after you Digivolve. Uh, and then when attacking, if you have a Tamer, he gains Security Attack plus one Piercing. This guy is amazing. I love him. But I do understand that he's not as good. He costs more and he's harder to get into. But sometimes he's just that perfect situation to get into. And then lastly, we play two or Graham on X Antibody. Digivolves from one. If you have X Antibody, you can go into this guy, attack, Digivolve into him, and then maintain turn because you can potentially check five security and gain five memory, which is the cost to Digivolve into him and then him. So it's, it's really good. And then he pops, you know, end of attack. Um, he can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP as long as he has War Greymon or X Antibody in there. So again, really, really good. This deck is super aggro. Um, we do play the one Omnimon <coughs> and the one Omnimon X Antibody. Um, so that's, you know, game enders. Um, I would like to play two Omnimon, but the space is tight and you only need to see really one of these cards to kind of make things gonna go off. Um, the Omnimon X Antibody is really nice because uh, you can, if you check four cards, you can blitz game. So that's really nice. Uh, so just other cards to help you, you know, win game. So that's it for our Digimon. Um, On to Tamers, I'm playing two Tai Kamiya, Star Deck Tai, your security guy, he helps you get your five checks in but honestly this deck has so many way to get five checks in it's not even funny so that's really nice too uh we're playing two of the bt12 tie uh, on play start of your main phase one of your digimon with agumon or Greymon's name gets 1000 and blocker makes your bt12 guy super good because he uh, uh, he'll block and then unsuspend plus he gets that extra 3000 um and then your turn one uh one of this digimon one of your Digimon Digivolves into a Greymon or Omnimon in its name by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory, so he helps you reduce those Digivolution costs. I was going to play three of him, but I decided to opt out to play one BT12 tie because this card puts in work. He maintains you turn when you have him on the board because he can allow you to um, go into your four-cost War Greymon when you have three memory, like the Memory Tamer on field attack, and then when you check a card, gain memory and keep maintain turn. And the fact that I'm playing cards that let you play these guys for free just helps with that whole ability right there. Uh, then we play, uh, that's it for Tamers. Um, and he gets plus 2000 DP. So that's always good too for the turn. Although, unfortunately, the other guy's nice because it's, it's till the end of your opponent's turn. For options, we're going to play two red memory boost, two trainings, and two X antibodies. Pretty simple. Um, the trainings are really good because they don't put your tamers on bottom, but sometimes you just need that memory over that digivolution cost because, again, you can't use trainings on any of your black guys, um, which we only have 
really the one. And like I said, sometimes you just need that memory to pay, play the tamer. So I do like the, the distinction between two trainings and two mem boosts. Um, plus the mem boosts dig more. And then of course, X antibody for a final card because it, it gets you all your X antibody plays, which are really good in this deck. Um, but that's the deck, guys. That is War Greymon. It's super fast, super aggro. It kills. It thrills. And, uh, you know, I thought it was good in Ultimate Cup format, but in Regionals format, it is just crazy. And it's one of my favorite decks, and I really love... You know, like, I, 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 I really do like purple and yellow decks, but a lot of the times these red decks just... I'm like, I'm going to play this, because, like, I have to do so much practice with purple and red decks because they're so combo oriented and stuff like that. And sometimes if you don't have a lot of time to practice, good old red is there to help you out. You can do well with it. And if you don't have the time to really put in the hours for those purple yellow decks, it can be super good. But that's all we got for this. We're gonna be continuing our deck profile, so stay tuned. We got three more to do. Uh, probably nothing for green, like I said, this format, but maybe during um, EX5, we will have a green deck, I'm hoping. But uh, Tell me what you guys think. Do you like it? What else could I do differently? I'm always looking for you guys' opinions. Thank you very much. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. And as always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.